61A, lecture number seven, announcements. The hog project is due tomorrow. Complete it today for an early submission bonus point. Homework due is due tomorrow as well. The last question marked just for fun is completely optional. You can skip it if you want. An additional topics lecture, also completely optional, will be held today at 5 p.m. This Saturday from 12 to 2, we'll hold a review-oriented guerrilla section. A guerrilla section is an opportunity for you to master material by descending from all corners of the campus into the basement of Soda Hall for a focused two hours of studying concepts from the course. This is a great way to prepare from the exam. And once you've mastered the material, you can then disperse back into the countryside from whence you came. Here's a Piazza Post telling you how it works. Midterm one is on Monday. We will not have lecture on Monday. We'll send you seat assignments on Sunday. If you're left-handed or otherwise need a special seat, you can let us know by Saturday, and we'll give you such a seat. If you have a time conflict with the exam, cancel your other thing. But I know that not everything can be canceled, and so if you have a course conflict with another course that requires you to be there, let us know and we'll work something out. But you have to let us know by filling out this form, even if you emailed us already, so that we can deal with everybody systematically. You can bring one sheet of notes to the exam. We will provide scratch paper and the midterm one study guide. What's that? The study guide is one sheet, front and back, that contains many of the important slides from the course so far so that you can reference examples, see what an environment diagram looks like, and have access to all of the execution and evaluation rules for the Python language. The final version of this will be released shortly. It will probably already be on the course website by the time you watch this video. We'll print this out and provide it to you on the day of the exam but I recommend that you read it in advance so that you know where the information is that you're looking for when you're taking the exam. There's lots of more information about the midterm on Piazza right now. I recommend strongly that you take a look. This includes links to the past exams and descriptions of which questions on each past exam are in scope, meaning they're similar to questions you'll see this semester, and which ones are out of scope since we're holding the midterm a little bit earlier this semester than we have in the past. Taking a few practice exams is a good way to prepare, but just reading the answers probably won't help you learn how to solve problems. The best way to learn how to solve problems is to try to solve some yourself. Now, not everybody gets 100% on the exams that I write, so don't feel like you have to solve every problem and please don't spend all your time just obsessing about the most difficult problem on the exams. It's probably more productive to make sure that you can get the more straightforward problems correct than making sure you solve every single one. And in lecture eight, the lecture after this one, we'll go through a bunch of past midterm questions and talk about strategies for solving them. Also take a look at this post and you'll see that there are two student-run review sessions this weekend one by CS Mentors, one by an organization called HKN. And students really like going to those review sessions, so you might want to attend those as well.